All right, this is another version of any card at any number. This one's gonna utilize two decks of playing cards. We're gonna put the David Blaine Black Lions off to the side. We're gonna start with the red-backed bicycle playing cards for spectator number one, okay? We're gonna have a card selected, uh, traditional fashion. We're gonna spread them and offer one for the spectator. They're just gonna reach out and they're gonna to touch any card. Let's say they go for this one. Take a look at that card and remember that. We would then lose that card back into the pack like this. Now, just in case we could have estimated how many cards in the pack that went, we're going to give the cards a cut and a riffle. All right. Now, we'll come back to those cards in just a moment. Spectator number two is going to make a selection from the Black Lions deck. All right. This is a really nice deck of cards. This is one of my favorite decks that I own. Um, we're going to give these one mix, and then I'll let you take a look at the faces so we can see that the cards are not in new deck order or any, anything like that. Just a randomly shuffled pack. And just to give us a fresh starting position, we can let the spectator cut the cards as well. They can cut the cards as much as they would like to, okay? Once they're happy that they have a fresh position, they're now going to deal the cards to the table, and they'll stop wherever they'd like. Let's say they stop right there. Now, in case you feel this is a predetermined position, we're going to roll the die. Whatever number pops up, we'll deal that many cards. So it's a six. One, two, three, four, five, and six cards. Okay? That leads us to the five of hearts and the eight of spades. Okay? So if we add the two values of those cards, eight plus five, we get a two-digit number of 13. Those cards are telling us to count down 13 cards into the pack. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and this is number thirteen. For the first time, what's the name of the card that you selected? The seven of spades, and there it is. The seven of spades. Uh, that's a, a two deck version of any card at any number. There's an idea in there from Stuart James, which I found in his book, The Essential Stuart James. Um, and it's a um, that part is just a self-working effect. If you can find that, if you've got that book, Stuart James has some really clever stuff. Very intelligent creator and thinker of card magic. And um, I love it. So take a look at it, guys. Till next time.